Hey guys, so yeah, we're chasing after Team Rocket after they robbed through this place. As you can see, there's obvious signs of or signs of burglary here, as we said in the last episode. Like no duh. So here's the Team Rocket guy that ran all or did all this trouble. You have to admit, you're probably like one Team Rocket grunt did this all. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Well, it's not yours either. Huh? Me? I'm an in innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Well, not really. I've seen your kind of uniform before, and I, don't, I learned not to trust that kind of uniform. Well, the team that wears that uniform, I learned not to trust. So, no, I don't think you're an innocent bystander. So, yeah. Anyway, he has a Machop here, which is using Focus Energy, which makes his attack pretty much higher, I guess. Defense lowers my, or yeah, defense lowers my defense. Leer lowers my defense, and that was so close, but it didn't work. What? You freak, you son of a pickle. I mean, come on, you son of a pickle. I mean, you took out my freaking, freaking Sparrow's only three levels below, below you. But of course, he got a critical hit, so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I would have laughed if I got a critical hit on him, and I'd be like, yeah, burn. Or, I mean, punch. Because <laughs> technically, I punched him and everything, so yeah. Yes, I know that was a pretty bad joke. I don't even know if that was much of a joke. Yeah, I get critical hit with him. <laughs> if only that happened with that Machop. That would have been hilarious. Stop, I give up. I'm, I'll am i leave quietly. Uh-huh. And you're an innocent bystander. You said you're an innocent bystander, so how am I supposed to believe you? And he says, okay, I'll give back the TM that I stole. So he gives you back TM Dig. And this guy... You know, he's probably that you would think that hiker wants his TM back. Well, all he says is like, "I was gonna use that for Diglett or whatever," and that's pretty much it. So, okay, so now we go down the route on Route Five. I was gonna guess Route Four, but I was pretty close. Now I kind of hate this route. I mean, there's a lot of trainers on the way to the next town. But anyway, here's one thing if you want to go here. This guy will train your Pokemon. Well, he'll raise them. It, this is a daycare and everything. So he'll tr raise them for you if you want him to. Okay, I'm just checking. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm just checking my camera here. Okay, so we go down this underground path, which I hate because it's kind of long. I mean, run, 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 and there's the stairs, finally. Yeah, that was about t six seconds of undergroundness, as you can tell how long it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's some little slits, slits down up here. So, you know, you can find some berries. I believe there's the one on the other side. Nope, maybe not. Couldn't remember. Okay, and here's the first trainer. He's a bug catcher. There aren't many bug Pokemon or many bugs out here. Well, duh, it's like like a plane. Like you're gonna find bugs in a plane. Go try the Viridian Forest. There's plenty. That's a pretty high level bug you got there. How about evolution? It's it's simple. It's easy, and it it may have results to it. Well, duh, it's gonna have results. Why did I say may have results? It's like, results may vary. It's like, results may vary if you don't evolve. But results will vary. Well, no, not really. Never mind. Just shut up. I gotta shut up. Probably confusing the crap out of you. You'd be like, what'd he say? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna shut up. Until I get on something else, then I will go on forever probably about it. Like, 
these high level bug Pokemon. I mean, come on, evolve them. They're level 16. I mean, come on. I mean, that Caterpie could have been a Butterfree, and that Weedle could have been a Beedrill. At least it's a little better than a little, a little insect, a little caterpillar. One caterpillar evolves into a butterfly. One caterpillar evolves into a bee. Now, that doesn't sound right, too. As in, like, real life. Well, yeah, duh, real life. I keep forgetting. It's like, yeah, I just thought, oh, yeah, this is a game, stupid. I mean, I mean, people can make imaginary stuff, so I'm dropping off that subject, too. Yeah, why the frick did I use Ember on a Squirtle? God, that's like beginner stuff there. Oh, yes. There's critical hit, too. And Magikarp's level 13! Finally, he evolves. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. This is a private conversation. Ooh. He was glad enough to battle me. Yeah, this is a private conversation. Well, now it's broke into a battle. So, yeah. Alright. Stupid. No, not crap. That's bad. That's bad. Oh. That, now it's not that bad. I didn't think... I thought it was going to do a ton of damage. Because Hyper Fang really does do a lot of damage. For some reason, it only did like 10 HP or whatever. So that kind of surprised me a lot there. There's a Pikachu. Yeah. I probably shouldn't even be talking about this, but today was first day of school. Of course, you know how school is. It sucks. Even on the first day. Last day's awesome, but the first day sucks. And the rest of the year. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I mean, I got, like, none of the teachers I used to know. I got, like, one. I don't even like her that much. I mean, her cheeriness kind of bothers the crap out of me. I mean, she's always cheerful and everything. I'd be like, be angry. But then she could become an angry teacher and yell at me all the time or whatever. And why did I talk about that the whole way up here to the Pokemon Center? God, that was a waste. Oh my god, I can't believe I wasted that much time just talking about that. I mean, I wasted the whole way freaking up, up to Cerulean City talking about that. Oh well, there's other videos that I hopefully get better on. So, so I don't talk about it some more. I'm going to cut ahead and go back to Route 5. Okay, so we're back where we were before. And apparently they're still having conversations. Whisper, whisper. Yeah, whisper, whisper. The, the only thing that changed there was one was red and one was blue. Okay, I hate this trainer, even though he's a bug catcher. But he has a Butterfree, level 20, I think. Yep. And it was a pain when I played yellow. When, you know, before the yellow, when I made, er, when I played my yellow, before I made a video with it, I hated this freaking Butterfree. I mean, it uses sleep powder, it knows stun spore, it knows whatever else there is. I think there's poison, I said poison powder, sleep powder, and stun spore. And I hate it so much. I mean, I could be in this battle for like, 10 minutes just because he uses supersonic and he uses sleep on me and it just ticks me off but luckily he wakes up early but he's probably gonna miss just because I'm jinxing him and everything but he doesn't miss and that did half damage which was pretty decent come on come on hit him hit him hit him hit him dang dang it I hate that Oh, man, I want you to use poison powder so you couldn't make me fall asleep again. But, Charmeleon snaps out of confusion, so, yeah, I'm good. Um, yeah. Alright. You're too good. I know I am. You're pretty good, too, but, yeah, I'm better. Alright, I thought there was something over here. 
Okay, I don't have enough time to battle. Oh, crap. I don't have enough time to battle this trainer, so I'll see you on the next episode. And I didn't really want to do that at all, but oops.